two forward. He'd been their key man all the way through the year. Suffered a terrible knee injury in the quarterfinal against Down. And there another. Did you call it cynical foul? Anyway. It's very close to it. Yeah. Long ball wasn't precise enough for Dear McConnelly. Easy possession for Keith Higgins. Killian O'Connor. Alan Dillon showing for it. Push, foul on Dillon. Just Dublin in the earlier... Having more of the ball in the last ten minutes, certainly. Sorry, Dara, just yeah. in the earlier play, Stephen Cluxon came off his line and took away all the danger of that last inside ball. That's things he does very clever. Great goal chance here. But there's so much pressure on the ball. And there's uh, what last week was a foot block. This week is perfect. Great bit of tackling. Alan Dillon angling that one away. Richie Feeney joining as he did in the lead up to the Dillon score. He can score as well. Has been going well in training, we are told. Here's Michael Conroy blocked down by Brian Cullen. That's what he's there to do in a defensive position. The shot comes in and eventually it's put wide by end of Arley. Yeah, that's two bad ones he's had now. The opening one, you'll recall it from just down here beneath the Hogan, where he snatched at it. And uh, that was a Kit Oaks uh, point, I would I would call it. A nice, easy Actually, one from... It's a 45, it got a touch. Got a touch, didn't no. see that. No. The officials did. Well, that's a bonus, uh, especially with O'Connor in the 45 kicking mood that he's in. And this is easier than either of the other two, so let's see what happens. Right, this one is right down the middle. You get two of these in the first ten minutes. And uh, as you recall, he put both of them over. Missed a free on the angle. This would be bonus territory for Killian O'Connor and for Mayo. He's just not happy with. Well, he's, he's actually not happy with the distance the Dublin player is away and the linesman and the referees have twice or three times tried to fix it, but haven't gone out and been uh, as strong as they should be. They're way too close there. That's about 10 metres tops. And O'Connor gave it a good belt, and it's accurate again. Three from three from 45s. Well, that's the answer to that sort of stuff. Brilliant kicking again. He's well in form from kicks off the floor. Seeking out Michael Dara McCauley. James McCarthy onto it quickly, and the whole defence opens up in front of it. Brogan is calling for it. Connolly is close to. Here's Kieran Kilkenny. He's got one that's going to hang up. It's a tester for Clark. Comfortable in the end, and that Bernard Brogan didn't arrive in time to put him under significant pressure. Here is Richie Feeney. David Clark. Possess when he goes at full pace. Jason Doherty. That was two hops, it appeared. Anyway, referee didn't see it. <laughs> he doesn't do two hops, this referee. But he did once. And here's Alan <laughs> Dillon now at its end to Barley. And Barley has got it. Nolan trying to get close to it. Barley with a great catch. Can he finish it with a point? Oh, yes, he can. I was actually reflecting on last year's All-Ireland, the last few minutes of last year's All-Ireland, and that's a big miss. It's a technical foul that he's missed badly, and it's a three that Dublin are a point that Dublin will be very annoyed about. With Dublin coming back to within a point, Mayo have responded in some style. They lead by eight points to five. But where is the Mayo half back line? It's Michael Darren McCauley can go right or left. He's gone to his right to Kieran Kilkenny. Goes at the left again, Kieran Kilkenny. And he's put it over. A brilliant score. Great play. The way to get the kick out quickly turned around after conceding at the other end. As I said, a point they won't be happy about. And then Kilkenny comes back with the left foot. Fantastic score. And this fella has arrived at Championship football, hasn't he? Well, he has so much talent. You know, as I said, proven minor 21s, left foot, right foot. Any way you want it, he's, he can play. And he was brought in for his first ever Championship start for the injured or not fit enough to start, Alan Brogan. Mayo secure their own kick-out. Kevin McLaughlin, as we head towards half-time, 
It's a two-point game. Barry Moran, Richie Feeney, Alan Dillon. Dublin have their defence set. The pass didn't hit its intended target, and Keane O'Sullivan takes it out for Dublin, but Michael Conroy just wouldn't give up and it turned it over. Here's McLaughlin, and McLaughlin puts it over the bar. Simple mistake in the Dublin defence, pressure put on them. O'Sullivan had that situation under control until that moment. I suppose that really is uh, the difference. You'll have heard a lot of uh, people talking about in this particular team. They're fighting for every scrap they can get. That's a turnover and they got a point from it. Well, it's a Mayo free. There seemed to be uh, one foul before the other. Anyway, Mayo get on with it. And now it's Jason Doherty. Doherty, the goal-scoring specialist, that has come right out of the sweet spot. It's a glorious point from Jason Doherty. Ten points to six, and Mayo back flying again. Yeah, and this is a big swing now as you come into the into the half-time, uh, towards the half-time whistle. Great scores. We were looking earlier on at the double hop. Before the Varley here. point. Yeah, it, there's yeah. one. And Doherty has another little one there, but he has his back to it. He missed yeah. it. In fairness, the referee had his back to it. But it's a big miss. Ger Brennan, the All-Ireland champions, in trouble here in Croke Park. In those games, they've stuttered and they haven't really been under serious threat. But I'll tell you, they're under serious threat now from Mayo. The Connacht champions. Kevin McLaughlin. That's Chris Barrett. Barrett ran into traffic and he's on the ground and the referee... Barrett looks to be hurt, but he's mm. OK. It looked high uh, in the challenge. I'd say accidental, but it, it, it was a bit high. Not sure what uh, decision the referee has given here. Perhaps a, perhaps a throw-in ball. But here's Chris Barrett coming out. There's the... Well, was it even? I'm not so sure. Got some alterations. Dermot Connolly and Kieran Kilkenny. Just reflecting on what we've seen so far, Dublin had two frees in the first five minutes. Joe McQuillan going to throw the ball in to restart the game. It took them 22 minutes to score their first point from play. They went 17 minutes without a score as well. So a lot for them to ponder at half time and a lot for Mayo to ponder too as they lead by four. Back in 2006, they came from what, six, seven points down, inspired by Kieran McDonald. Aidan O'Shea, three minutes to be added on, we're told, and the referee has spotted a foul by Keno Sullivan on Michael Conroy. Now, this should be a point. And again, it looked, looked very tight, I have to say, when that ball was flying through. It looked like a six and one, half a dozen the other, but Mayo get the bounce on this occasion. And this is a really important one. Now, coming up to halftime, there's going to be a couple of minutes added on, obviously. And uh, three of them, three of them, like this, it put it into a five point game, and that would put uh, Mayo in a very strong position. Dublin with a lot of work to do. End of Arling has got one from play. And now he's got one from a free, and they lead by five 11 6. A long way to go in this contest, but what is on for Mayo? And they have been the better team by a distance in the first half. Yeah, we've had really more of the same from Dublin, you'd have to say. This is their Leinster championship form and perhaps their quarter-final form against Leash as well. They just haven't got out of the box. That's three unanswered points from Mayo. Dublin unable to secure their own kick-out. Mayo have decoded those again. Here come Mayo, the space for Kevin McLaughlin goes for the point and he's got it. Second for McLaughlin, he could have taken that on it perhaps to go with Stephen Cluxton, but the sensible play was to go for the point and they lead by double scores and the All-Ireland champions are in real trouble. And what's really uh, interesting from a male point of view is the confidence of the striking when players are getting into open uh, country with the hand pass, they're absolutely splitting the post with the shots. Paul Flynn, they're going to have to have the second half of their lives or maybe they get a score before half-time. Michael Darren, McCauley and Kevin Kane, they're with them and he's lost the ball and Kevin has got it back and his persistence paid off after the initial error there's a foul in there and it's a free out to Mayo it's all going for Mayo Michael Darren McCauley this was threatening but look at Kane 
Yeah, but he just he, he uh, loses the uh, solo, gets into a bit of trouble. That's where I thought he picked it off the ground. Uh, he gets away with it again. And uh, we're very close to half-time now. Jared Cafferty taking that into the challenge. Dennis Bastic trying to get it, but it's all going Mayo's way. Here's Richie Feeney, but it changes. Here's Dermot Connolly, and Connolly from outside the 45. They need this, and he snatched at that and put it a good distance wide. Dublin's third wide. Yeah, no, no player inside at all. Bernard Brogan uh, steals the ball off the Mayo defender. And when uh, Jeremy Connolly looks up, absolutely nobody inside, in 40 metres inside him, Darren, not, 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 a, not a single Dublin player. And that's why he went for it, snatched at it a little bit. Ambitious anyway, uh, but to the right and wide. What about the job this man has done preparing this team and what they've put in in the first half? They were edgy in the first couple of minutes, but James Horan's team lead by 12 points to six. They have the All-Ireland champions in real difficulty. They have stuttered all year, apart from the Louth game. And that form has carried on in here. But you've got to give Mayo credit for the way they've approached this game, for the way they've played, inspiring performances all over the field. The All-Ireland champions trailing at the moment by double scores. Mayo leading Dublin by 12 points to six here in Croke Park. Analysis to come after the break. Thanks a lot. Mayo as selected, but... Two big changes. Well, Michael Fitzsimons off for Philly McMahon, but a big change. Brian Cullen, Perfect the Dublin captain, team off. Team Alan team Brogan team coming team in. Number two, Michael so, Pat Gilroy taking action at halftime. Michael Darren McCauley stays in the half. Forward line being picked up by Donald Vaughan, and it's still Fennel and Bastig at midfield. Massive crowd, 81,364, the biggest of the year. Only be a few hundred more at the All Ireland final itself. But who will it be to play Donegal in three weeks' time? It looks like Mayo at the moment leading by 12 points to six, but a long way to go. Dublin gave up a six-point uh, lead against Mayo in the 06 semi-final. They've got to claw one back if they are to get back to the All-Ireland final. So free for Mayo, I think is the result. Yep. Here come Mayo. Eight of their 12 points in the first half came from play. And Dublin getting the ball back. Eamon Fennell, Jer Brennan. Moving through the gears, hand pass wise anyway. There's Keen O'Sullivan up from the full back line. Furthest forward he's been all day. Alan Brogan can't get to it. And Keith Higgins wins the first battle between the two of them. Oh, and there's no marking at all, and Michael Conroy, because Keno Sullivan is sauntering up the field. Rory O'Carroll there with him, Conroy has to score, and he's put that one wide. And that is a bad miss from Michael Conroy, who's done so much well in this match. But that was a gift of a possession, and it should have been a gift of a point. Well, it's a fantastic pass by Keith Higgins, and that's the bit that would worry me when you get the chance to put Dublin away, because they are going to come back, there's no doubt about that, and have a, have a miss like that, really, really poor miss. Alan Brogan looking sprightly but he did in the warm-up before the game as well and he's found his brother and now it's Dermot Connolly and Connolly gets through away from Freedy Connolly! Good save, really good save from David Clark wasn't going wide anyway but Clark couldn't take the chance and blocking it out with his right foot well, What a turnaround that would have been now from the other end where Conroy had the easy points great interchange of passing Connolly gets in on the end of it I think it was actually going wide but as you said you couldn't take a chance with that one we get a better view of it here Great save, all the same. Stephen Cluxton coming up to take the 45. 